long time since I've been out around this way. I've seen a few people here tonight that were at the show yesterday. Thank you for coming out again. sound check so I don't know what it's gonna sound like I'm gonna start off with a song I wrote about 30 something years ago Back in the day, every time I played in fucking Long Beach, the LA area, it was some of the sickest motherfucking shows on earth. So do not let me down, motherfuckers. first time you heard that song played by anybody who wrote it. Look, I 
just gonna say this one time and one time only and then I'm gonna keep going. All right? I got no problem with anybody doing cro songs, okay? I don't give a fuck, John can go out and play them motherfuckers to death, I do not care. All of y'all could go out and play. In fact, I want every band in here, go cover a fucking cro song. Now, the only problem I have is that bitch ass motherfucker goes out there advertising his band as the cro -Mags. When there's not, there's not one motherfucker in that band who wrote not one fucking song. Okay, so, you know what? You know, I don't care, like I said, he can play them shits all he wants, but, dude, you're misleading the fucking public. You're false advertising. That shit's the work of shady promoters who don't give a fuck, and that motherfucker's just milking the name of a band he didn't even write no fucking music for. Now, you know what? God bless him, the motherfucker needs to pay his bills too, okay? But write your own shit, or change the name of your fake ass band, okay? I don't give a fuck, y'all can go see the, 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 cro the Cro-Mags. Look, look, it's like going to see Beatlemania, okay? As long as you know you're seeing Beatlemania, it's cool. The second you start believing that shit's really John, Paul, George, and Ringo, then you're a fucking sucker, okay? Yo, this next song, it's off that first album. I didn't say it yesterday, but I'll say it right now. Fuck Donald Trump!
to tell you guys and gals this, but the audience yesterday was a little bit more enthused. There was a lot more of them making it up to the stage and jumping off. I'm just saying. I don't know, maybe it was because yesterday was supposedly the, the, the young kids show. And today I think is like the, the older crowds show. Come on guys. Look, I got a bad knee, I get it. But that doesn't mean you gotta be a bunch of fucking old ladies now. So drag your fucking... What's wrong with fucking old ladies? <laughs> well, if you put it, gonna put it like that. Alright, so we're gonna slow this one down for all the old folk. See if we can get a circle pick going with your fucking wheelchairs and shit.
I was a little close. My natural defend the base instinct almost took over. I wouldn't want to end the night in a bad way. God bless all, everyone. So you guys proud this weekend or what? I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Just be proud every day. I thought I just had like a hundred picks. Three! How about some Melly Mel? I'm the next one! Oh, you heard about that? Yeah. I'm gonna be doing a, I'm gonna be doing a track for Melly Mel when I get home. That's just gonna be nasty. I remember back in the 80s when I was out here, when I hitched, when I hitched out to the West Coast. Motherfucker, I'm talking. I hitched out to the West Coast, and I was like, Feeling a little homesick and shit. I was in my friend's car and all of a sudden the radio came and I was like, it's like a joke sometimes it makes me wonder how I keep it going on. It's like a joke sometimes it makes me wonder. And I was like, I'm like, y'all motherfuckers don't know. This shit right here, that's New York, yo. I was like, yo. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a song with Melly Mel. Grandmaster of Melly Mel. Before I do the next song, I'd like to introduce you. You may have heard him. He played with me on Alpha Omega. He toured with me in the Cro-Mags and Harley's War. Mr. Gabby Apura! Bad motherfucker. Behind me, this savage motherfucker beating these drums like he's trying to kill them shits. Gary G-Man Sullivan. Let's hear it for the Black Irish. Alright, we got Mr. Artie Alexander, give it up! And if you came here tonight, I'm assuming you know who the fuck I am. Yo, I was down, but I was never out. Just remember that shit.
Yo, light man, could you turn the lights up a little bit? I'm like, it's funny. Like I started missing notes because I couldn't see. And then I was like, use the force. <laughs> and I like, I like closed my eyes and I stopped worrying about the friend. All of a sudden I started doing everything right. But still, uh, turn up the lights. I like to see these motherfuckers. Give a shout out to my man from Red Death. Woo! These young niggas look out. They're fucking hard as hell. Wait, you can't say that, man. Oh shit, you know that, man. Master Hensel Gracie. Just know, wherever I go, Master Hensel Gracie's there with me. Just skateboard up here, somebody's gonna do tricks. You gonna jump off this motherfucker? You got a little bit of a... So what do you guys want to hear? Alright, 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 I said I gave a shout out to my man from Red Death and he asked me personally if we could do Apocalypse Now tonight, so
You probably noticed that I forgot the words. I ain't done that song in about 20 years. And, and while I was playing it, I was like, yo, I should have told that Red Death motherfucker to come up here. So I'm like having this conversation with myself. I'm like, and then I got totally confused. And I forgot what the fuck was going on. And then this motherfucker started stepping on the guitar pedals. Oh my God. So what do you all want to hear? All right, check it out. This is a this is a sad subject. It's a sad topic. But I'm gonna have to dedicate this next one to Chris Cornell. Now, I feel bad for anybody that's gone through such mental pain that they feel like the only way out is killing themselves. You know? But there ain't nothing in life worth taking your life over. And I feel really bad for him. And at the same time, I'm like, yo, B, you had everything, bro. You know? Yeah, you were struggling with depression. You know what? Guess what, man? We all struggle with depression. That's part of life. You fucking... You pick yourself up and you keep moving, you keep fighting. There ain't not a motherfucker in this room who hasn't been depressed, who hasn't been fucking destroyed. Yo, all those battles that you lose in the end, that's what makes you strong, that's what makes you wise. Never fucking give up. I could have gave up a million fucking times. I've been fucking, oh, forget about it. Read the motherfucking book. That's all I got to say. And never give up up ever no matter how hard times are
What's up? That's what's up. Alright, so check it out, people. I think we got time for one more song. Right now, I just really, man. Yo, I've been waiting for fucking years to come back, motherfuckers. And I just want to thank you all. Thank you all for being a part of this. I had to take some time off. I had some kids I had to raise. Now they're older, daddy can go out and play. So again, I'd like to thank you all guys, brothers, sisters, thank you all for coming out. It's a beautiful day to be here.
ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. You know what? It's been too fucking long. Thank you.